This past year, we committed ourselves to becoming more present, present to God, to each other, and to our community. And what we experienced is that practicing presence can lead to profound spiritual transformation. And also that becoming more present is really hard to do. We gave some serious thought to what makes being present so difficult. And we came to a simple but profound conclusion. We're just too busy to be present. We live in a fast paced world that seems to be getting faster all the time. We're always busy always multitasking, always trying to check another thing off our to-do list to send just one more email. So who has time to sit down for coffee with a neighbor or a church member just to get to know each other better? Or to attend centering prayer and sit in silence for 30 minutes and do nothing? The world is constantly telling us to have more, to do more, to be more efficient, more productive, more everything. And it seems like busyness has become a virtue. But that's not what God wants for us. Jesus said, come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. God invites us to rest, to let go of all the expectations and obligations that can weigh us down. God invites us into Sabbath. And so that is what we'll practice in the year ahead. Our spiritual focus this year at Fairmount will be the time is now, our urgent need for Sabbath. So what is Sabbath anyway? Well, let's start with what you've probably heard. We've been told that Sabbath is the fourth commandment, but that just sounds like some rule we're supposed to follow without really understanding the reason for it. Maybe you've been taught that Sabbath is about doing churchy things like worship and prayer, but our scripture makes it clear that worshiping God is only a part of the Sabbath. And many of us think of Sabbath as a list of don'ts. Don't work on the Sabbath, don't shop on the Sabbath, don't even do your laundry. But this year we wanna claim that Sabbath is more a way of being than it is a rule or a day or a list of prohibitions. We want to claim that Sabbath is a transformation from death to new life. That Sabbath is about restoring right relationships with God and neighbor. That Sabbath is about resetting things the way that God intends. And that Sabbath is about taking a real rest, about learning the unforced rhythms of grace. Doing less, resting more, taking naps. It may sound easy, but we have a feeling that practicing Sabbath will be harder than we can imagine. After all, Sabbath has become a countercultural practice. So let's do it together. Let's resist the need to do more and embrace our urgent need for Sabbath.